it's been excellent progress so far. So now we're going to be adding the Google OAuth authentication to our sign up and sign in pages. What we're going to do is we're going to add all of this. So let's go to our application over here. Remember, just uh, navigate all of this. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go to the source uh, and in the you know client file, uh, there's a source. And then inside the source, I have to go to the components. I'm going to add a new component and this is going to be called OAuth. So it's going to be called O and then auth a u t h dot j s x what we're gonna do is i, I think i created a folder no way um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the components and we're gonna create a file which is gonna be called oauth so oauth dot j s x and inside of this we're gonna do raft c so once we have all of this done we save it and we could also just call this as oauth at the moment uh you know at the moment we'll just call it oauth okay so now what we have to do is we have to import this everywhere uh, the, the meaning of what I'm talking about importing is because uh, if I look at to the sign in and the sign up pages, they're actually in the pages folder. So over here we have the sign in and the sign up pages. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the sign in and on the bottom where you see the button, right? This is the button. You'll have the OAuth uh, you know, component added as well. So just type in OAuth like that and it just should... I update it and it should be added on the top as well. So there you go. Same though goes for the sign up. Go on the bottom. Where's the button? The button and right after the button. Just write OAuth and so OAuth and you know import it and then it should add it. So now you know that's added over here as well. Good. And if we go to the application, we'll see OAuth and we'll go to sign up and we'll see OAuth. All right, so let's fix this up. So let's go to sign in and let's go and uh, put this on the right. So I'm, in, I'm essentially going to put this on the right and I'm also going to put this on the left and I'm going to go to the OAuth uh, JSX and over here I'm going to fix it up. So first of all, instead of a div, let's put this as a button. Now it's in the center. Now, um, of course, we need some classes for this. So uh, some of the best classes that you would have for uh, this would be class name. So I'm going to use Tailwind. And inside here, we're going to say BG background, uh, color background, BG red 700. So this color of the background is 700. Red text is white so that it's easy to read. Uh, pa padding is three everywhere. So it's a little uh, fat. So you can see over here, perfect. And now we have rounded LG, which is, you know, the borders you see now it's rounded. Um, now we'll have the uppercase text so that it's all uppercase. And we'll have an hover effect so that when you hover over it, you'll have the opacity change to, um, opacity change to 95%. So just let me show you and demonstrate it. Um, I hover over it, you'll see a slight variation in the opacity. Um, the type of this is very important because actually I put this inside of a form and by default, all buttons are of type submit. And we have to change the type to just a, a normal button. So we're just going to type, change the type to a button so that it doesn't do any kind of randomness uh, inside the form. There's already, uh, you know, a trigger. So now after that, we have um, this, uh, you know, class and let's just change this text to let's call it uh, continue uh, with Google. All right. And this is just going to add that text over there. Perfectly done. Um, now, once we have all of this out of the way, uh, we could go and, uh, you know, go and um, create this on click uh, function. So uh, for this on click handle, we're going to have a function which is going to be called. Um, handle Google, Google click. I'll just call it like that. <laughs> right now it's everything's going to be disappeared because you have to create one over here. So we'll say const handle Google click. And it just, uh, you know, adds this thing for me. I don't know why, um, but yeah, it adds the async. Um, you could leave it as it is and just close this for now. I'll just close it so that the error is gone and I could just see everything. Okay. Now after that, uh, handle Google click will have, you know, some things that we have to look upon. So um, if we look at the handle Google click, um, we have this thing, which is uh, try and catch. And we're going to use this uh, for most of the things. First of all, in the catch, we'll say console.log. I'm not going to put an error handle, but I'm just going to say, you know, uh, couldn't, could, uh, so couldn't, so could not sign in with Google. 
that's good error uh, and then just throw in the error as well pass it so like that okay so after uh this is done you could go in the try now the try part is that you know we have to use google oauth authentication for this purpose and obviously it's going to be using the internet um so we, that's why we're using async it's going to take some time um at the same time we're going to have to you know add this thing so let's let's go here and uh, i'm going to go to the website over here i'm going to maximize the screen and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go and type in the following which is firebase uh so firebase.google.com if i type this in you'll see this website open up so make your app the best it can be click on go to console i'm already logged in so you can see my uh, you know account is logged in so you go to console over it go to console um make sure you have an account and then you go to console and then welcome to firebase you create a project here you name your project and i'm going to type in mern estate like like that uh you know it's going to be there uh, you know it gives us a a unique identifier for your project you accept all of these stuffs and you go and continue after that you see google analytics for your firebase project i'm going to disable the google analytics for now but if you want to add them in the future you definitely could so create project after that with some time it's going to create our project so we just have to wait and it's going to be called mern hyphen estate so once we're you know waiting we could just look into this uh, part and just maximize the screen as well so essentially what i have to do is i have to add some uh you know states over here uh, um, provided by google oauth provider and um, i'm going to be able to do that until you know everything is settled within this so it's already done great we have the project ready so we continue here and now it's going to load it up to our dashboard here you can see it's an overview and you can see over here that uh get started by adding firebase to your app what kind of app is it is it an apple device is it an android uh phone is it a web application a unity project or a filler where i have a web application we'll click there okay uh, now uh, we have to give a nickname to our app again um, so you could just call it the same thing. Um, app nickname, we'll call it Mern app or Mern estate hyphen hyphen estate. And uh, also set up Firebase hosting for this app. No, we're not going to do that. So with Mern estate, uh, the hosting can be set up later. This is no, there is no cost to get started anytime. All right, we don't have to include that. We go register app. And in a moment, it will just do it for us. Um, and now it says, uh, you know, you have to add Firebase SDK, which is a software software development kit. And if you're already using NPM and a mobile bun, uh, bundler such as Webpack or Rollup, you can you run the following command to install the latest SDK. So just use NPM install Firebase. Copy this thing, go into your uh, terminal over here where your client is. Remember, make sure your client is there. And in there, just type in NPM install Firebase. It should install Firebase for you so let's just install it it's not that big either and it's just gonna be completed in a moment once it's done uh we'll go to the next step after this and uh, you'll see that it's going to automatically refresh my server and as well as you know my client is on my server is on but at the moment it's installing uh firebase so it's almost there and uh yeah so let me go back here and see now this is over here then initialize firebase and begin using the sdks for the products you'd like to use this is actually the complete uh initialization of the app and then the api keys that it provides and then it basically initializes the firebase app for me so we copy this and we have to go back to our application we'll see that it's almost there it's still uh installing firebase but um what we have to do uh, in this part is we have to uh you know go to the uh client side and in there we're gonna have to go you know okay okay what's happening oh yeah perfect everything is installed and you know it restarted everything worked so we'll go here in the client side and inside the client we have this uh source folder and inside the source just create a file which is going to be called firebase.js and over there just paste the entire code that you got from you know the website now the thing is over here we have this app and we have my api key here and all of this in information so what happens is that import the functions you need to need from the sdks you need so it's basically from the sdks okay import initialize app from firebase slash app and then after that we have the const firebase configuration these are some of the settings that we need obviously the key and all and then initialize firebase it basically creates an app and it says initialize app and then 
uh, you know, it's been coming from Firebase slash app and you put this Firebase config and initializes it. I, actually, we need to export it so we could use it in different files. So I'll just put an export here. Rest other than that, you know, other than that, everything is done. Uh, let's go back to the website here. So um, now that we you know we have all of this done, one thing is that, you know, this API key is, you know, you don't want it to be uploaded on GitHub or something. So there's a you know, set thing I could do over there, go in the client folder. Not, uh, I know that there is actually, if we go and scroll down, we have one api.env outside in our root directory, but inside the client, this is something related to the front end. So we'll go and click on the client folder and inside here, just type in a new env and, and this env will only have the, you know, the Firebase credential. So it's going to be called Vite API key, you know, I'm calling a, a Firebase API token key, whatever key. So beat Firebase uh, and then underscore API underscore key. Okay, all of this is done. And then we put the uh, API key in here. So let's, let's see, let's go back in Firebase and you see that there's a string, right? This one. Actually, we caught, we cut this entire thing and we put it inside here and put a semicolon. Now the thing is, that this Firebase, uh, you could just copy from here and you could actually use it. Um, there's a special way to uh, add this and it's called import.meta.env. And then you have, you know, your beat. Uh, so underscore what you just typed in beat underscore Firebase, Firebase, and then underscore API underscore key like that. Okay, so that's perfect. I mean, everything seems to work dot env there and read firebase uh firebase it looks it looks okay the spelling should be correct make sure everything is correct i'll just paste this in and everything looks perfect all right so now that everything is done let's go back to the uh console so let's go here i mean over here uh back to the window and over here we'll continue to console now once we do all of that um you know everything seems to work now the thing is then we have to authenticate uh use authentication so authenticate and manage users so we could either do this one uh store and sync up data in milliseconds uh, choose a product to add to your app so we could either use this authentication option from here there's two ways to get it from here or go to build and then authentication and it just goes to that same place now inside here uh you have to click on authentication authenticate and manage users from a variety of providers without server-side code so you get started, there's going to be a lot of providers, but we only need Google for now. So you can see additional providers. We have Google, Facebook and all these kind of things, but we're going to use Google. And over here, we're going to have to click on enable. And over here, we have public facing name for the project. So just type in like Mern, let's say, let's call it, um, um, let's call it Mern estate. So I'm, I'm going to call it estate app. All right, so this is the public facing name for a project and support email for a uh, project. You could just use your own email that you're logged into. And then after that, you could just click on save. After that, it should allow you to go to the next step after this. Okay, so now Google enabled, you can see it's enabled. Now we are allowed to use Google authentication in our application. What a great job. Okay, so now what we're going to go is um, you have to go to the try, uh, you know, where the all auth was. We have to go in, inside here. We have to, uh, you know, write the following. So um, const provider, since remember, it's providing Google. So we'll say new Google auth provider. And this is coming from somewhere. So let me show you. This is coming from import um Google auth provider from Firebase. All right, let's just remove this from the top. Okay, I think everything seems good. Okay, now after that, we need to import another thing. So uh, let me just first add it. So const result, uh, auth authentication and it's get authentication. And essentially you need to put the authentication uh, to the app you're getting. So where's this app coming from? I'll, um, you know, I'll tell you where this is coming from. This is coming from your app you created from Firebase. So import app from that Firebase. But actually, if you look into this, uh, it's not here. This is the wrong path. You have to go to dot dot. I mean, you have to go back one step and inside the source, there's all, obviously there's this Firebase. So um, yes, I mean, that, that was the right path. So you just have to go slash and then Firebase. All right. And that's your path. And this is the app. Remember this app 
we were exporting it. Now we're using that and we said, let's uh, use that app inside of this get app, get off and then applica app application. All right. So authentication. And now after that, we have a result. So we have result and we say await because this is going to take some time because we have to authenticate. Um, so we're going to say sign in with pop up window. So this is going to be pop up um, authentication. Remember, we already got it from this and the provider that we're using, which is Google. Now, these two things will give us result. We could either console log the results for now. So console dot log the result. And, you know, this should, you know, appear and you'll see some of the things. Let's see if sign in with a pop. It's there. All of this thing is imported. Um, but we have to see if this actually, you know, seems to work. Um, let me just connect my mic properly. Just okay. Yeah. So we have to make sure that this is working or not. So, okay. So let's go back to the application here. And uh, I believe, uh, I mean, we don't have any problems. Let's see what happened. Uh, let's go to the, yeah. Okay. Seems okay. Running, running. Okay. What happened here? Uh, there's an issue. Refresh this page and let's go to console and see what happened. So in the console, it says syntax uh, error. The request module, you know, does not provide an export name default. All right. Uh, I, I guess we didn't have to type in default. If we go to the uh, Firebase export. Okay, one minute. Where are you even talking about, bro? Uh, let's go back here. It says over here export named default at oauth.jsx. Okay, oauth.jsx. Okay. I don't know why uh, it's uh, creating this issue. Okay, it says the requested module Firebase source Firebase.js does not provide an export name default. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. This is an OAuth. It having this issue over here. So from app. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the Firebase. And I believe um, we might have done something there. Okay. So export const app, initialize app, Firebase config looks good over here. And, you know, looks good over here as well. Um, it should uh, work fine. I mean, add the .js, Firebase. I don't know. Okay. It's still giving the issue. Let me let me turn off the server. I know it's um, it's just a uh, you know just to see if what's happening. So log in again. Okay, we still have this issue, and it's in the console, and it says the same thing. The requested module uh, slash, slash source slash Firebase dot js does not provide an export name default. D E F A U L T. So again, we could either, you know, find that. Let's go and, uh, you know, go to the firebase.js again. You can see over here sign in.jsx, oauth.jsx. You have all your code snippets as well. Okay, so what we're going to go is we're going to go to the console. You know, we, we're all, obviously, uh, you know, you want to try this but it's not going to work at the moment and nothing's going to you know appear so we're going to go back here and uh let's see is this even allowed import app okay i think the reason we're having this issue is we have to put this like like this because it's a single thing and probably this is going to be the issue okay the request module does not provide an export name default fail to reload this could not be due to syntax errors or importing Okay, um, so app from dot 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 slash Firebase, and then after that, do this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let me just see what happens now. Um, okay, all the errors are gone. Continue with Google, and you get the login. 
Uh, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep. Uh, the issue where we're receiving is that the API is not valid. API key is not valid. Please use a valid API key. Uh, API not valid. All right. So we'll go back to the, uh, you know, authentication here. I mean, we'll, we'll try it, but at the same time, you know, things are working well. Uh, you could see that, uh, you know, there's some progress that has been made, but the thing is that, um, uh, the API key has an issue. I don't know why, um, probably that. But other than that, I guess everything seems to go well. Firebase API key and Firebase API key over here. Um, let's go back to the auth and uh, let's run it one more time. Yep, it was a semicolon issue. Oh my God. It was a semicolon issue and I removed the semicolon from the API key and now the Google OAuth thing is working, which is perfect. Um, now let's step, uh, move on to the next step. So you can see these cross origin poly, uh, course issues would block the window dot close call. This is not a problem from us. This is a po problem from Firebase. So you don't have to worry about this. Firebase will fix it later on. Um, so um, we're done with that, which is really great. 